Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be ranking recent makeup purchases. So I have lip products, cheek products, highlighters, all kinds of stuff. Just things that I have tried in the past couple of months. I'm gonna let you know which ones rank the highest, which ones rank the lowest. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on indie makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. <music> my loves I have been slacking it has been about four months since I last did a ranking recent makeup purchases now I do feel like I'm not purchasing makeup products as often besides like eyeshadow palettes but as far as other types of makeup products I feel like I've kind of slowed down and like purchasing new things I think I've just really been concentrating on the things that I already have but I have a good amount of products here so I mean it's still a lot but this is I think less than I usually try in like four months, but I'm gonna go over every product. I've pretty much used, I think, all of these things on camera and either get ready with me or reviews, try new makeup. I'll have all those videos linked if you wanna see these things in action. So how I do this is I rank them from the bottom to the top. So the things that I really, really loved are at the top, the things that were so-so or not that good are at the bottom. And then everything kind of in the middle was like they're good products, but not as great as the ones at the top. Now I want to put this out there. Please do not take it personal. If I rank something really low that you love or rank something really high that you hate, this is all based on my personal preferences and what I like when it comes to makeup. So let's just get right into it. So at the very bottom of the ranking, like I totally dislike this product. I thought it was just not the best quality and I had high hopes for it and it was such a letdown. But this is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand. This is the shade Champagne. It's a glow stick, which I think was kind of trying to be similar to like the Charlotte Tilbury like highlighter like sticks that they have like this, but it just did not give, okay? It didn't highlight my cheeks very well. It kind of blended away to nothing and I just was very underwhelmed by this product. And then the next product, which is also from e.l.f. that came out at the same time, is the Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour Stick. This shade is light medium. Now the shade is a little too light for me, but the shade up, which I think is medium tan, just looked so dark and super on the warm side for a contour. So I went with the light medium. It doesn't really show up on the skin. It kind of blends to nothing. And I don't think it's the shade. I, I think it's just the formula is so creamy and blendable that it just disappears right away. As soon as you blend it, it's gone. There is no contour. It does nothing for the face. I just don't think this is a very good one out there and there's so many good contouring products out there. So then the next product, which isn't a bad product, but it's low because it just doesn't meet my preferences when it comes to makeup. I'm just not a fan of products like this, but this is a lip gloss from Glamlight. It was part of their Scooby-Doo collection. This is the Daphne lip gloss from the Daphne lip kit. This one has a nice formula. It's not overly sticky. It's a pretty gloss, but what I don't like about it, it has all these glitters in it. Now they're not gritty, like you can't feel the glitters, but it makes my lips look way too glittery and that's just not, the vibe I'm going for when it comes to lip products. Like I just don't want glittery lips. It's just not my thing. I know a lot of people rock it, they love it. And it's kind of reflective, shifty glitters. So I just don't think it's flattering for me. I don't, I don't like it. So that's why I put it at the bottom. Nothing wrong with the formula. It's a nice gloss. It's not gritty or chunky. You can't feel the glitters, but I just don't like the effect that it gives to my lips. Now going on to a product that is kind of meh. It's not bad, but I just think that there's better products out there than this one. This is from Keys So Care. This is their clear brow gel. Now it does a good job of like fluffing the brows, but it's not 
not the most long wearing brow gel. I do feel like my brows kind of start to droop after a while. Um, and I just think that there's better brow gels out there. The ones from like e.l.f. and the pot is really good. The one from Benefit is really good. I mean, there's just a lot of different options out there. I just don't think this works for my brow hair. But if you're not someone who needs like glue, like you want your brows to be glued on and you want it to be a little bit more flexible, you might like this. But honestly, this is not the cheapest brand. I just don't think it's even worth the money. Then the next product, which I liked at first, but I realized the more I've worn it, the color just doesn't vibe with me. I just don't think it's the right shade. This is the Daphne lipstick from Glamlight from the Scooby-Doo collection. This is a very nudie peachy pink and it's on the lighter side and I feel like it's just too light for my skin tone it's a little too milky I don't know I just wish it was like a little deeper if I use a deeper like lip liner it looks fine it's just not my favorite shade it's not a go-to shade for me either I just I don't know I don't wear pinks like that often and I feel like it just looks a little light and washed out against my skin tone then I have this right here, which is also from Glam Light. This is a lip gloss from the Velma Lip Kit. I like this one. I like the formula. This one has glitters in it, but they're not as visible. It's a pretty nice little gloss. It's hydrating. It's comfortable on the lips. I just don't think it's anything special, but it's hard for me to be impressed by a lip gloss. There's a very few amount of lip glosses that I actually really love and rave about. Then the next product, which I like and I've enjoyed using, I just think that there's formulas I love even more than this one, but this is the Chrome Glow Palette and Charming Glow. This is with Pixie and Hello Kitty. I think it's pretty. There's highlighters in here, like shades that make beautiful glowy blushes. I just don't think it's the most amazing highlighter formula. Like it has a glow, but there's just highlighters and glowy blushes that I love more in my collection. Collection. Then I have this blush right here from Scooby-Doo. This is their blush dual. I'm kind of sad that a lot of the Scooby-Doo products from Glamlight ended up being lower, but I'm telling you, you're going to see some really amazing products soon. But this is the two-tone like blush that they had in the Scooby-Doo collection. I love it. It's just a standard matte blush. Like I like the tones in here, but there's just nothing special about them. Like they're good standard matte blushes but I just have so many blushes in my collection that I just love the formula, head over heels, that I didn't think this was anything special. I do like the shades, but it's just okay. Then the next product is also from the Scooby-Doo Glam Light Collection. This is the Velma lipstick. I really do like this one. It's a deeper orange. It's pretty, it's a standard lipstick. Also nothing special. It's not my most favorite lipstick formula. And I feel like that's how I generally feel over Glam Light's lip products. Like I love their eyeshadow palettes, but I think everything else, even their cheek products never really wow me, even their highlighters. Then going on to more lip products, I have this from e.l.f. So this is their satin, is it the Old Face lipsticks? I think this is nice. It's a nice satin formula. This one is in Drive. It goes on the lips beautifully. It's pigmented. It's a nice formula. But yet again, does it wow me? Does it excite me over other lip products? Not necessarily. And this is a more expensive product from e.l.f. Now, I'm not saying the quality isn't good because it is good quality. Um, but I just, it doesn't wow me. It doesn't excite me. And then I have these pencils from uh, what is this about face? They're nice pencils. They're creamy. They're great lip liners. I don't really use lip liners that often, but I have enjoyed them. They go on nice and opaque. They do wear well. I just think they're they're average lip liners. That's why they're just like lower than other things. Then going on to these from Urban Decay. I really like these. These are their uh, lipsticks and their shine formula. They have a glossy little effect to them. They're really, really pretty, lightweight. I've been into the more glowy kind of lip products these days and they just have a nice beautiful sheen to them i think my favorite one is june gloom it's a beautiful nude now they're not as glossy as like the tarte 
Maracuja Juicy Lips, but they do have a shine. They like are very creamy and emollient and they look beautiful on the lid. Then I have this mascara from Benefit. This is the Bad Girl Bang. Now I do really like this mascara. It lengthens my lashes. It does a great job. The reason why I didn't rank this higher, now this is just a deluxe sample, but I do feel like this is a pricey mascara and you can get the same effect with cheaper mascaras. That is why it's lower. I think like the Milani highly rated mascara basically does the same thing. There's other drugstore mascaras that I also think give the same effect. And that's why it's like at the lower end because I don't think you need to pay a high price tag to get really good mascaras, but I am enjoying it. I got it as a gift with purchase. I'll use it up, but I don't think I would go out of my way to buy another one of these. Then going on to these beautiful cream blushes. These are from JCAT. Everything that I'm showing you will now and up are like really good products. So these are their blush mellows or mallows, blush mallows. I would totally pick up more shades. The only thing is that they don't have a lot of shades. I wish that they would expand the shade range on this. That's the only unfortunate thing about these is there's just, just not enough shades. But I have this one called Baby Mochi, which is a glowy bronzy shade. Makes a beautiful bronze topper. Or if you're looking for just like a nudie, bronzy glow on the cheeks. It does a great job as well as a tutti fruity shade. It's a super bright, vibrant one, perfect for the summertime. These are both in my daily makeup drawer right now. They kind of remind me of the Super Shock Cheek products from ColourPop, like the same effect, like they're very bouncy, you blend right into the cheeks and they do dry down to a powder finish. Then going on to this product from e.l.f. Now this is like a holy grail for a lot of people, but I just don't think I'm necessarily the right person to be able to love something like this. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter Glow Booster. Now don't get me wrong, this looks gorgeous on the skin. It gives me a glowy effect. It looks gorgeous under makeup. The only thing is I'm an oily skin type and after a while, my makeup does start breaking down with this product on. I just love how it looks initially. It makes me look so fresh and glowy and like it looks just so nice on the skin. This is something I can use if I don't need my makeup to last all day. Like I'm just running errands, going for a quick brunch, filming a YouTube video, but if I need like my makeup to last all day, this doesn't help me. Like I feel like it might make my makeup break up even more, but it's beautiful on the skin. Then going on to this Fenty concealer. It's a nice concealer. The only thing is this is very matte. So some days like when I'm having some dryness under the eyes, it's a little too drying, but trust me, this is a good concealer. It's great coverage. It's long wearing. Like if you need your makeup to last under your eyes, you want to stay concealed all day, it will stay put. It's just more matte than I typically like for concealers, but it's like in the higher point on this ranking. So I do like it, but I do feel like I have to moisturize a little bit more under my eyes with this product because it is so matte, but it's a nice concealer. Now going on to some more concealers, I kind of felt the same about all of them, but I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Dark Spot Concealer. This gives you a medium coverage and it is a natural finish. I think it looks beautiful on the eyes. This is my usual kind of concealer formula that I love. I love a good natural, more satin concealer, and I think it it wears nicely, it lasts well. It's a good concealer. That's basically all I can say. As well as this one from Urban Decay. This is the Stay Naked Quickie 24 hour multi-use concealer. I do feel like this one gives a little bit more coverage than the It Cosmetics one, but I would say it's more of a natural finish. It's buildable. It looks beautiful under the eyes. It lasts all day. It stays, it covers. It looks nice. It doesn't get like really weird or crepey or creasy under the eyes. Then going on to a lip product. I really like this. This is from NYX. This is their fat lip drip oil. I wear this all the time. I have this in my purse. I take this to work with me. It's a very nice, more glossy formula. I feel like it doesn't feel like a true lip oil. I definitely feel like it leans more as a gloss, but the shade that I have is so pretty. 
This one is called Soulmate. It's a beautiful brown shade. It does have pigment to it. It definitely shows up on the lips. It gives a glossy effect. I just don't think it's a true lip oil. I feel like the name is a little misleading. It should really be called a lip gloss. Then going on to another lip oil that I adore, and this one I think is more of a true lip oil. This is from Blend Bunny. This is Bring the Juice Lip Oil in the shade Ripe. It's a beautiful shade. It definitely shows up. It adds some tint to the lips. It's very hydrating. It smells delicious. Let me smell it. Oh God, and it's a little drippy. It's a true lip oil. So hydrating and beautiful. I definitely want to pick up more of these. It's such a nice, nice lip oil formula. Then going on to blush palettes from Blend Bunny. I really love these. I basically put them in the same spot because I love them equally. Like I don't think I love one more than the other. They both have a special place in my collection. But this is the Juicy Cheeks palette, which I've been rocking a lot this summer. Has really unique tones in it. It's so bright and fun. Really, really good formula. It's very blendable. Now these are matte cheek products, but I think they just blend into the cheeks beautifully. They have great pigment. You can share them out. I would say go in a light hand, slowly build up so you don't get extreme clown cheeks, but it's so pretty. And the shades that they pick, they're so unique. They're so in too, like this is such a good one. And then the Bare Cheeks one, which I think is perfect if you're going for a more nudie look, a little bit more toned down and muted. But I love that there's like these kind of bronzy tones. Like I love a nudie brown blush. Makes me so happy, but I like these more like pinky shades. You got some oranges in this one. I love this red. I'm a fan of a red blush. So I think this is also a really beautiful one. I feel like I'm going to rock this more in the fall time. Now I have more blushes to go over because blushes always seem to get really ranked high in my collection because I'm a lush for blush. But these are from Letho. I have a third shade, which is a purple one. It's somewhere here, but they're in the glowy formula. It came out in their like flower collection that they recently came out with, I think maybe in springtime. But these have a beautiful glow to them. They're super pigmented, so you have to go on with a light hand. But I love the tones in the collection. There's also a purpley one, and I adore this yellow one. It makes my cheeks look like sunshine. It gives this warm yellow glow to the cheeks. It just such a unique shade like they picked really unique tones and I love that it has a kind of a a soft glow to them they don't look like you have glittery cheeks or a highlighter on your cheeks they're more of like a subtle glow from within kind of glow that these blushes have then going on to these ones from benefits oh my god I'm so happy I finally picked these up these are all like the new shades that they came out with I think maybe last year and I was lusting over them for so long and I finally picked them up I think these might be in the mini size but they had them on sale for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, and I am so happy I picked them up. The formulas are all so nice. They're so blendable. Benefit makes really good cheek products, but you can build these up, and some of them have glows. Some of them are a little bit more matte. I think my favorite one is Starla, which is a nudie, glowy blush. Like, this is my go-to. If I don't know what kind of blush to wear, I'll always go for a, a nudie blush like this. It looks gorgeous on the cheeks. And then I have Tara, which is a little bit more ready tone, but this also has a glow to it. This one right here on, uh, in Butterfly is a glowy Cheeto orange. I love having glowy Cheeto orange cheeks, some of my favorite. And then the other one is Crystal, which I think this is more in their matte formula, but even the more matte ones have a little bit of a sheen to them. But the formula is beautiful. I wish I had all the other shades. I think they just came out with so many good blushes. Then going on to a bronzer, one of the best cream bronzers that I have ever used and it's super affordable and it's from a brand that I typically hate but man this is good this is from makeup revolution this is their ultra cream bronzer and medium beautiful beautiful creamy formula but it's pigmented it blends into the skin it looks gorgeous the shade is perfect for me it doesn't lean too warm it's kind of more of a neutral bronzer shade and it's so hard to find bronzers that don't lean super warm and I do have more of a cool undertone so I'm happy that this leads more on the neutral side it's just so creamy like I can't believe how good this is 
it might actually lean even a little bit more cool tone now that I'm looking at it, which is what I prefer. I want my bronzers to be more like this because it works better for my skin tone. I was super impressed by this. This is my first time ever loving a Makeup Revolution product like this, but I saw a couple YouTubers raving about this and I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna pick it up. I need to know and it's amazing. Now going on to these beautiful liquid blushes. I am so impressed buy these liquid blushes from Juvia's Place. They came out with the most beautiful shades too. I only have three here, but honestly, I wish I had every shade in the lineup. They came out with light shades, medium shades, deeper shades. They have shades that work on every skin tone and man, these are gorgeous. They're so blendable. They look great on the cheeks. They don't have like a true matte finish. There's a little bit of a glow to it. So it looks fresh on the cheeks and a little bit goes a long way. You get so much product in here and you barely need any of it to really have it show up on the cheeks. Like just the littlest dot, I'll show you like, like a little dot, right? But look how much it blends out. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see how little I put on my hands and you get this much pigment? Now it doesn't dry down so fast where you don't have time to blend it out. You definitely do. But I would just say go slowly with this product if you're gonna pick it up because it can get very, very pigmented and very quick. I would say like put a little on your hand, dab your brush on it and slowly build up the color. But the tones, the formula, it's super long wearing. It has a little bit of a fresh glow to it. And this, the different shade options are so gorgeous. Like I have this more lavender one, this more like corally orange one. Man, they have so many beautiful shades. Then going on to, I think we're at number two at this point, but this is a really, really great foundation, especially if you have oily skin. This is the KBD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. Now it has a lot of coverage. Honestly, it can get a little intense with the coverage. So I just use less to make it work for me because I like more of a medium natural coverage. But man, this is so good for oily skin. It's a matte finish. It's very long wearing. It will last all day, cover your flaws, cover your sins and all your regrets. Like this is a good one. So if you want it to be super full coverage, you can get full coverage with this. If you don't want it to be too full coverage, just use less, share it out a little more. It's a beautiful matte foundation and it will last through these hot summer months. It is so hot here in Texas, like every day is 100 degrees and this will make it through those hot days. And then number one, which I thought about ranking this with my palettes, but these are technically singles. So I was like, it's not a true palette. I just happened to buy all the shades and got an empty palette that was part of the collection to put them all in. But these are beautiful and they have to be at the top, but I just love my eyeshadows. This is from Ensley Rain Cosmetics. These are the singles from the Enchanted Garden Collection. I picked up all of them. Now, what I love the most from this is the metallics in here. That's really what is number one for me. The mattes are okay. Don't focus on the mattes. It's really the shimmers. I love them. They're shifty, beautiful, sparkly, gorgeous goodness. I did a whole video swatching these out. They're more on the pastel -y side, but they're absolutely stunning. Do not sleep on Ensley Rain Cosmetics. They have an amazing metallic formula. They have amazing dual chromes, multi chromes. Their mattes are, are nice, but they're not anything special. It's, it's the metallics where it's at. And I had to put this number one because I wasn't gonna rank it with my palette. So I was like, this has to be part of this video, but they're so beautiful and sparkly. And they're more of that like flaky, like sparkly formula. It's not like a smooth traditional metallic. Like these are high shine, they're reflective, they're shifty, they're beautiful. Just wet your brush, put them on, you'll be amazed or even use a glitter primer. They work really well with a glitter primer as well, but you might get some sparkle fallout from these, but I just think these metallics are gorgeous. I love that they're like more lighter and pastel, perfect for the springtime, perfect to pair with like darker shades as well. So these are number one. I love Ensley Rain. Like they really stole my heart. I've loved so many things from them. Their eyeshadows are so good. So that was number one on the ranking and that was all the products I recently tried, all of my thoughts. I tried to be as thorough as possible so you could really know what these products are about, whether it was because of preference or whether it was because of formula. But you guys will have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Would you have ranked these in different places? Have you tried any of these products or what are your favorite?
favorite or least favorite things that you have tried recently. I would love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video, you like a lot of fun, colorful makeup content, you like a lot on indie makeup and rankings, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will have all these products linked as well as the corresponding videos where I'm using these products if you want to see them in action. I will also have my makeup linked, like what's on my face, my foundation and everything. I did forget to mention in the beginning that I did film this eye look. I have the new Blend Bunny Sugar and Grunge palette. Now, I think that video is gonna come up after this one, but definitely check out for it on my channel. I will also have my contact and my social media platforms linked. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty. So if you wanna join my Instagram fam, I would really, really love that. But guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, for being here and supporting me. I just think you guys are all so amazing and I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and I'm just sending you guys so much light and love. But until next time, bye guys.